okay so we are going to prove here one statement <coughs> every continuous periodic function f on r is bounded let's see the proof so let f from r to r be a continuous function let positive p which is real number be period be period of f okay that means f at x will be same as f at x plus p for all x from set of real number okay so what we have to prove every continuous periodic function is bounded so assume assume that f is not bounded since we have to prove f is bounded so i am assuming it's a positive that f is not bounded and let's see where we'll get a contradiction assume that f is not bounded right that means therefore therefore for any positive l there exist positive m such that such that mod of f of x is greater than l right whenever whenever mod x is greater than m right because f is not bounded so this will happen and this statement i'm calling to be one <clears throat> okay now let x is equal to m plus p now since p is positive right p is positive p is positive that means m plus p will be bigger than m okay therefore f at f at m plus p right f at m plus p this will be same as f at m plus 2p right because f is periodic function okay and this will be same as f at m plus 3p right so on and on the right hand on the left hand side f at m plus p this will be same as f at m right again because f is periodic function okay and this will be same as f at m minus p this will be same as f at m minus 2p and so on right reason because since f is periodic function f is periodic function of period m period p sorry f is periodic function of period p okay therefore from statement 1 from statement 1 f at m plus p mod of mod of f at m plus p right and which is same as mod of, which will be same as mod of f at m plus 2p right and so on and all these mod all these modulus value will be bigger will be bigger than l right from statement one right as and why this is so because m plus p right mod m plus p mod m plus 2p right all these values they are 
greater than m from statement one this it will be followed okay also oh okay and this this line i'm saying to be two okay also from two from two mod of f at m right which is same as mod of f at mod of f at m which is same as mod of f at m minus p and so on right all these values will also be greater than l right this and it follows from second and let's say from third also because a uh, modulus value i'm i'm taking greater than l and it is it will be followed from three right so it is from second and third right from second and third uh, we will have that mod mod of f at m minus p this which is same as mod of f at m this will be bigger than l right but here here mod m minus p right here m minus p right it is less than m right m minus p it is less than m and what is given in first because we are assuming that f is not bounded and if it is not bounded then for any l there will exist m such that mod mod of f at x will be bigger than l whenever whenever this x whenever this x right is bigger than m but here what we are getting here what we are getting that uh, m minus p and also this m minus 2p right m minus 2p m minus 3p all these values <coughs> they are less than m right they are less than m uh, and and we are getting that mod mod of f at all f at all these values that is f at 2p right which is same as f at m minus p right <coughs> and we are getting its modulus value greater than which is contradiction to statement one right which is which is contradiction to the statement one right now because your m minus p say this is x right they say this is also x this is x so whenever x is less whenever mod x is greater than m then only we'll have that mod of f of x bigger than l but here we are getting the opposite of that mod x is less than m and still in that case we are getting mod of f of x greater than l so it is the contradiction to the statement one okay therefore our assumption is wrong right okay and therefore every continuous periodic function is bounded therefore every continuous periodic function f on r is bounded <laughs>